I feel weak. I feel powerless. I feel ignorant. I feel sick and tired. I feel angry. I feel hurt. And I feel that life is fucking unfair. I feel undeserving. I feel abandoned. I feel invisible. I feel denied. And a lot of times I feel alone. As most of you know, I've been sick for a while. I'm not really sick. It's just all a physical manifestation of bullshit that I can't seem to figure out. Some of it I have. About three years ago, I had a heart attack. And, uh, ended up having three stents put in my chest. I was really angry afterwards because it all happened so fast that I wasn't given time to think about it. And now I have this metal in my chest that I can't, that I can't take out. I think that I could have worked through it. I could have healed myself from that. I also think that it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. And then Almost two years ago, my back finally gave out on me. I have a lot of deterioration going on in my spine. Severe deterioration. And I have two spondylolisthesis. One of them is between my sacrum and my L5. And it's where my spine has slipped forward. Um, to a certain degree that it has pushed my insides down and uh, so I'm having a lot of female problems as well and um, when it slipped down so far it started crushing on my nerves and it caused uh, two really small fractures where the little nerves come out the sides of your spine, those little holes right there, they have, on me, they have little cracks. And then I have another one up at the top. So I'm having a lot of pain, and I've been sitting in a chair most of the time, but I'm so bullheaded and, and strong-willed that I've gotten past the worst of it. I mean, I can 
make myself stand through so much before I have to sit down. Or I'll make myself walk, you know, up and down the backyard until I can't walk anymore. I, I try to dance. I can't really do that. I want to run, and I can't do that. I want to stand and rock the babies instead of sitting and rocking the babies, and I can't do that. And I have no fucking health insurance. And I don't even like the fucking medical industry. I worked for them all my life. I know it's all bullshit. But something's got to be done about my back. And I've been doing a lot of inner work all my life. I've really been digging deep in the last couple of years. Being in this chair, I don't regret. But I want the fuck out of it. It's pushed me into some dark places that I never would have went. Some places that really needed worked on. But it hasn't made me any better. It hasn't healed me. And I feel all the years that I, I gave of my own time, even for free, so many times. And when I worked, and when I took care of people, I did it diligently, faithfully. I did my job with pride. And when it comes time for me to need help, I can't get it. They want to give me a surgery, which I think is stupid. Because why would you put metal in something that's falling apart? I mean, you're going to have to go deeper than that to fix it. Or give me a nerve block so that I can have some kind of quality of life. That's not a quality. Sooner or later, it's going to catch up with me. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to be in so much pain, I'm not going to know what to do. At least now, I can grow with the pain. And the pain lets me know where I am. If I'm getting worse, if I'm getting better... And I kind of yo-yo. I do get a little bit better sometimes. And then I don't know what happens and it gets really bad again. I'm fucking angry about it. <laughs> There's so much in the world that I want to fucking do. And I feel powerless. So here's the dark side. All aboard. You see fire drake. I found some light in the dark. Got my halo on. <laughs> it's not fucking fair. <laughs> What the fuck do I need to do? I know that we can heal ourselves. People, we can fucking heal ourselves. Why is this knowledge kept from us? What are we here to learn? What am I not fucking seeing? What have I done wrong? How can you fix it if you don't even know what the fuck it is? You know what? This morning, since I don't give a fuck, I'm going to smoke my goddamn ass off. Fuck it, you only live once, right? 
you know, it was a time when I would get to feeling bad like this, and I'd just go get fucked up. It was so much easier to not feel anything at all. And so then I have this problem that when I was 22, after I had my daughter, I found out I had some precancerous uh, cells going on. And you have to understand how uh, cancer works on the cervix. I still don't understand it completely, but... Stage one, they call it precancerous. In other words, it's just inactive cancer, I guess. Well, they went in and they took a laser and they shaved my cervix. And so every year after that, I kept getting checked and I was fine. Then I lost my health insurance whenever I couldn't work and... Uh, I wasn't going and getting checked for about four or five years. And when I went back a year ago, over a year ago, it came back the same all over again. And I was going to a free clinic because, and it's not free, it's just that they charge you a little bit of money to run their clinic. But I went there and, and they were supposed to set me up with a specialist. And I never heard from him, and I didn't call him. By this point, I'm just so sick of everything, because everything feels like a hassle, like a dead end. Well, the second stage, between the second and third stage, they remove your whole uterus. The third stage, it starts spreading to your other organs. And we all know what happens in the last stage. And so I'm a little bit worried about all that. But I feel like I could heal that too. But it's this shit with my back, this physical pain that just got me. It's got my attention di diverted to, to it. I can handle a lot of shit. A lot of shit. But I can't handle this anymore. And sometimes I don't want to be here anymore. But I'll be good at help. I'm going to go out like that. It's a good thing I got this halo because everything else feels pretty dark. And I've tried everything, whatever you can think of. I've tried it. Legal and illegal. The most relief that I've gotten out of all of this are my friends here that I've made. And uh, helping other people seems to help me at least to feel better I'm tired of feeling so damn human that's why I say don't fly too high
because somebody will shoot you down. Or something will shoot you down. Don't never get too comfortable. Don't ever let yourself get too comfortable. Because you're not here to be comfortable. None of us are. And there ain't nothing in that witchy cabinet that can fix this. Something's got to happen pretty soon because I can't. I'm the kind of person that can't give up. When I say I can't, I really mean I can't. I get fixated. Especially when I feel like I can't. Then I really get fixated. Because I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm probably the most non-compliant, combative individual you'll ever meet. Don't never say that I can't do something. Don't dare me to do something, anything like that, because I'm a real pain in the ass. I'm a real pain in the ass. But I'm fucking worth it. What you give me, I'll give you back twice if I can. I'll double that shit. If you give me love, I'm going to give you twice as much. And I may be a pain in the ass. But I'm fucking loyal and I'm diligent as a motherfucker. I can't be bribed and I cannot be swayed. If I don't feel it within, it ain't happening. And that's really a bummer right now. Because I'm really feeling like it ain't happening. Don't none of you fuckers feel sorry for me, neither. Because we're all fucking suffering. All of us. The only thing I can say is... You gotta make it worth suffering for. I love you guys. Peace.